This has been a really, really interesting year, hasn't it? A year of years, 2012, a year that has been taken on mythical importance. It's a leap year. It's been the year of the Olympics. It's been a year where people have been talking about so much about what's been going on globally, politically, economically, and spiritually. It's taken all sorts of significance. And I want to talk a little bit about um, the teachers, leaders, and healers, because at times like these, real or imagined, people who are teachers, leaders, and healers are very, very important. And um, one of the things that I've found throughout my career doing what I do now that's been magical and a blessing is that so many people are people who come through the door are teachers, leaders, and healers. Some of them are obviously um, leaders, teachers, and healers. They're chief executives, they're healers and they're therapists, they're coaches, um, they're authors of books from the heart, and some of them perhaps not so obviously so. They're starting their career, but for me it's actually often clear that they are a healer and that's the journey that they're on. And some, one of them has just literally just left the studio now, um, a lady who um, has had some really difficult times in the past. Um, seen some very, very dark days, but she's learned to embrace life and thus life has embraced her. She's at peace with life and she just wants to share that joy of life. She's not waiting for any ideal circumstances, she's doing it. She's putting on her own event, she's writing her own book, she's just doing it. Same thing for a lady who was coaching over the weekend. She's employed, she's been employed for a long period of time, but she realises now that now is the time for her to do what she's always been about and to run programmes for some of those people who are most vulnerable. So now is this time. You know, a saying came to me a, a while ago, which is that um, in order for the healing in the world that we want to see to take place, if you perceive that there's healing that does need to take place, then the healers must take their place. But first of all, the healers must do their healing. One thing that's been beautiful that I've observed over the last five or so years in this work particularly is that um, so many of the healers now and particularly recently have done their healing and now they're beginning to take their place. What's been nice about the last two people I've talked about that they're women, it's quite good to see also lots of women out there and doing this work um, and, and visibly doing this work. Very often there's lots of the guys who are like myself, we're here and we're speaking and all the rest of it. Um, but it's great to see the, the females doing that and it's important to see that female energy too which is, has often such a healing energy to it. I'm not saying that, that males don't have that healing energy or I'm not saying that females don't have the masculine energies that are also very powerful as well but it's something about the blend that's also very very powerful um, and it's great seeing more women also doing that work and also seeing more men doing their healing and being in the world compassionately. So if you're a healer too then this is the invitation to you to be in the world, to do your thing. And the best way to go on that journey is to put one foot in front of the other. The best way to do that is to embody it, just to be it. Live from that space, embrace that space. And all of this is really about living life from heart, connecting with people at heart, being who you are at heart. Connecting with people at the heart. Magic happens from that space. So um, yeah, wishing you all the best if you're on your healer's journey. It's magic, it's very fulfilling, it's very, very rewarding. I think the last thing I want to say is that I also meet lots of people who are healers and leaders and program leaders and people who are doing so many magical things, helping others, and very often they don't see their magic. And I said to a lady who um, runs all sorts of wonderful programs, including for some very staff, and very senior staff um, who I've coached, to say to her, you know, you really need to see your magic, you really need to see what you're doing. And I said to her, if she even realised actually all the people whose lives she's touched and helped, and connected and empowered, I wonder if she would be able to cope with that in a good way. She would be able to cope with it, but I think that that, that might just melt her heart. But it's very important that you do realise the contribution that you give and to allow yourself to be in the world, to sing your song, to do your thing. Take care.